Europe is gearing up for a year of crucial elections, both on national and federal level. Surging support for populist leaders across Europe, including Geert Wilders in the Netherlands, spells the beginning of the end for the European Union, Nigel Farage has claimed. The former UKIP leader and GB News presenter told the Daily Telegraph, UKIP and the Brexit parties were ahead of their time. The populist surge that we are going to see in the European elections next spring will mark the beginning of the end of the EU in its current centralised form. He added, Gosh, I could have led a big group. Mr Wilders appears to be in pole position to be his country's next Prime Minister, while Giorgia Maloney is already Italy's leader. In France, Marine Le Pen's National Rally Party is up six points compared with the start of 2023 on 28%, and in Belgium, home of the EU, the right-wing Vlaams Belang is currently polling 25%. This year is set to be a year of pivotal elections across the continent, not least the European Parliament itself, with citizens across Europe going to the polls between June 6 and June 9. Finland, Portugal, Lithuania, Belgium, Austria, Croatia, Slovakia and Romania are all scheduled to have important national elections this year as well. In terms of the European Parliament in particular, right-wing parties are expected to perform strongly, with more than a third of elected MEPs likely to be at least critical of the bloc, up from 25% a decade ago.